What is up guys? I know it has been a little while and that is not by choice for me. YouTube, before Christmas, about three or four days, decided to give me an early Christmas gift. Now this Christmas gift was actually kind of a lump of coal gift and you probably know what that is. They gave me two strikes, one of which I don't know where it came from and then the other came from a video that I suspect got recorded by some nitwit that didn't like the fact that I was shooting a squirrel, or trying to, you know, rocking a pellet gun around, or shooting a chipmunk. Or I attempted to shoot a chipmunk in the video with my brother, Carter, him, that is, um, and they decided to report me. So YouTube's like, thinks they're right, and, you know, banned me for a while. Now, the scariest thing, the scariest part of that is that if I got a third strike in that, in a 90 day, or, Still, if I get a third strike in the 90-day period, these strikes remain. I'm done. So I gotta be stinking careful. Probably no hunting content, unfortunately. As much as I'd like to post hunting content, I don't think I can do that because I risk losing my channel completely. Um, as long as anything that could, you know, give me a bodily injury. But, um, I welcome you back to the year 2023, or welcome you to the year 2023. I had an amazing Christmas, amazing New Year's. I hope you guys had amazing New Year's and Christmas Eve, Christmas Day too. I hope you got what you wanted. I sure did. Um, I didn't get to post even like Merry Christmas or Happy New Year on my community tab, which is just really frustrating. But it is what it is, and I would just have to, you know, cope with it, I guess. But um, today I'm gonna kind of give you, not gonna like review everything I got. Like, oh, look what Jack got. A fishing reel. Oh wow, oh, we got that. Uh, I'm gonna give you a general overview of like my favorite items I got, per se, and maybe not my favorite, just some of the items I got that were kind of highlights, so this is going to be like a highlights video, and I'm also going to kind of talk about my goals for the new year, but I'm going to start with my goals for the new year first. So, this year, I mean, last year, I don't think I was able to break my PB. I might have. I was in Ohio for uh, a couple of weeks. Um, I was at, I stayed at my uncle and aunt's house for overnight for the one day. And then we left, and they had their neighbor, which is super nice, let me and my brother go fish over there, has a pond that is loaded with giants. I want to go there again someday. Um, It's very small. It's smaller than the pond I have in my neighborhood. Um, It's almost like a river. It's very much shaped like a river. The, you know, water flows one way. It's very narrow, um, or at least narrow to some point. I brought a fishing reel, and I didn't have a rod for it. I hoped that my uncle would have one. He did. He let me borrow one. Um, great rod. I will say it, it was kind of heavy. I couldn't even work a popper on it. I wanted to do top water, but I fished it warm and I caught some nice fish. But when I brought out the chatterbait, I caught a three and a half pound largemouth bass, which is this largemouth right here. Um, definitely a highlight for my year. Um, got a really nice fish down in Ohio. And, you know, I had a great year, um, but I didn't really break my PB at least that I know of so far, so I'm hoping, we're going to call my PB, I didn't have a scale, for the last time, anybody was wondering, I did not have a scale when I caught my PB, which is this fish right here, um, but I'm going to guess it was around 4 pounds, so we'll just say anything over 4 pounds is going to count as my PB, um, it did not, it felt way heavier because I don't catch very big fish, um, I am a small kind of fish fisherman, which if you are someone that doesn't care about the quantity or the size of the fish I'm catching, just cares about my passion, this is the right place for you. Um, if you're looking, if you're some Florida boy looking for something that's, I'm catching all big fish, this is not the channel for you. Um, unless you ever, unless you ever plan on going up north, this is not the channel for you. Um, but I had a great year. 2022 was great. I got some great fishing opportunities. I gained a lot of subscribers. Um, I hit 300 subscribers in the year 2022. I hit a lot of milestones in 2022. I don't remember what my uh, goals were for that year, but my new goals are one to catch my new PB. I really want to do that. There's some new bodies of water around me that I want to explore, and I really, I really just super badly want to catch my PB largemouth bass. <sighs> Number two, I don't really have like my goals aren't to be like get a new rod and reel compass. I have plenty of rod and reels. My next goal is to reach at least 500 subscribers get halfway to 1k this year i think that's possible guys um i have four, over 420 yeah i have like 428 now actually um 
and I really want to get to 500 because, listen, there's going to be a giveaway of 1K subscribers. I'm not sure how big it's going to be, but it's going to be a nice giveaway of 1,000 subscribers. But I didn't want to do like a 600, 700, anyway, that's just, that's a bit much. I think 1,000 is like really cool, and um, you, I mean, yeah, that's about it. But um, yeah, that's my goal, to hit 500 subscribers. If I can get more than that, that'd be great. Um, if I get to 1K before the end of this year, that would be, like, a huge bonus. Answer to prayer for me. My next goal is to get a GoPro to film quality fishing videos for you guys. I want, I don't care if it's a really expensive, I, don't, I mean, I don't really want it to be a super expensive GoPro, like, oh, I have the Hero 11 or Hero 10. I want to get the, uh, you know, I don't care if it's the Hero 6, Hero 8, I don't, I don't care. Just the GoPro that can film. My next um, goal is I really want to get a better editing software for, like, a laptop or a PC. Probably a laptop would be a lot easier because it would be more portable. Um, I want to edit my videos from a computer so it's a lot better quality for you guys. And I want to, I mean, I will continue to film on my phone for as long as I have to, but I would like to upgrade at some point. Like I said, do, like, a GoPro or maybe a, a higher quality camera. Uh, we'll see how that happens in this year. My next goal, and this is probably going to be about, you know, six or seven goals um i really want to not necessarily get sponsored but i want to work with more companies i'm already working with a company kind of i don't really know if they're taking me legit or not it's hard to tell but um they're sending me some really awesome products that i'm really excited about at the beginning of this year we're going to try them out and i'm they're products that i genuinely love um and i can't wait to try them out for you guys my next goal and this is gonna be a kind of a big one this might have to happen in the next couple of years but I really want to collab with someone. Doesn't have to be a super popular YouTuber, just someone that is a YouTuber in the general area that I'm in, you know, whether it be a couple states away from me or whatever. I'm not asking for somebody that's in Florida to come collab with me, but somebody to collab with me. I want to collab with someone, um, whether they just got a channel the day before or whatever. I want to collab with someone because I think it'd be really fun. I don't particularly know a whole lot of people. I'm like the only one I know that has a channel that I'm constantly working on, um, but that's alright, we'll probably find something, God might open doors, it'd be amazing if he did. My last goal would be to just generally make my videos better quality for you guys, um, and not to overdo it, not to have a crazy intro or anything, I just want to have, like, a very, like, because a lot of people could tell, I, I'm a genuine fisherman, I love fishing, I want to make a career out of it really bad, not sure how that's going to work out, but I don't have like sponsors per se i'm not getting paid by companies to promote product as much as i would love to i'm not big enough for that i don't have enough viewers um you know su subscribers does not equal viewers subscribers equals people who decided to support me and they probably don't watch my videos anymore and that's okay i have 428 subscribers at the time that you're watching this or at the time i'm filming this um do i have more than like 20 views 30 40 views a video no not really, not in the past couple months. I had a lot more videos that got better views, like, later on. Like, I have, it's funny, because my, like, some of my lowest quality videos got the most views. Like, I have a sharp edit, sharp object, if you know what I mean. And then I had a video that said, bass fishing with a soft plastic lure jig. That thing got, like, I think 800 views or something crazy. Not a ton of comments, but... I just, it was super genuine. You could tell I wasn't trying to really grow. I was just having fun. I had a very muffled camera on my chest, a little action camera. And I caught a bass on a lizard. And it was that simple. That got that many views just by filming what I love to do. And that's just crazy to think that I don't have to make some crazy cool video or some super nice video with a bunch of cool gear or super high quality camera. I just need to film what I love. That's what people have told me all this time in this grind. And I haven't listened to people. I just thought if I make my videos even better, we get more views. But I just want people to know that I love fishing. I love hunting. And that I just enjoy making YouTube videos. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button for me. It really just shows me that you appreciate my videos. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. Um, comment down below what you would like to see next for the next coming up year. I have a lot of options, I think, maybe, probably not, but we'll see. Um, I think I'll have a lot more options since I'm older now. I hope you guys just enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I told you guys I would show you some of the fishing things I got. I got this. This is a Pissifun Torrent 2 reel. I made a video on a different channel about it. Um, it's an 8 to 1. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it's an 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. Got a lot of torque, big old handle. Um, it's a really nice reel for the $45 price point. And uh, I love it. I got it for Christmas like a few days ago. And um, yeah. Then I'll show you my one other thing that I'm very excited about because I really needed one of these. That is right. I got a fishing backpack. I got my chest on there. But this is a Sorza fishing backpack. I got my little Asco sticker on there. It is a super stinking nice backpack. I'll be doing a review on it very soon. Like, literally, I went fishing with it yesterday in my neighborhood pond, and normally I'd have to take off a, a backpack because it'd be too heavy for me, but I could keep fishing with it. It was not heavy at all. Like, I mean, all my gear, almost all my gear was in it, and it hardly weighed anything at all. I could wear it the entire time while fishing. Anyway, that's the highlights. That's the general highlights that you guys care about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, bye for now.